Amazing stuff there, both of those stories too. Here we are with a look at a decent day today. We didn't get as much rain as I expected, but we will tomorrow and Sunday. Be prepared. 83 degrees, our high today. 66 the low, that's a degree and a half above the averages of 83 and 63 degrees. And tomorrow, we'll be right in there in that same general vicinity temperature-wise. Low 80s, low to mid 60s for highs and lows. All right, here's a look right now at current conditions at Pittsburgh International, 70 degrees with a mostly cloudy sky. Humidity's at 78%. The dew point's at 63 degrees, so it's a little on the muggy side out there, but not oppressive. The wind's right of the south at 8, and the pressure is just under 30 inches of mercury. Temperatures not ranging by much. Everybody's pretty close in terms of numbers. Somerset and Waynesburg, the cool spots at uh, 66 degrees apiece. It looks like Latrobe in Indiana on the other end, just 7 degrees warmer at 73, and everybody else is right there in between. 12-hour radar summary shows you not a whole lot happening. We had some spotty showers that moved through earlier, then those died out, and the ones in Ohio that looked like they were working their way toward us just sort of fell apart. Now, as, to, as we get into the heating of the day tomorrow, that same process will change a little bit. I expect there'll be more moisture in the atmosphere. We'll have a little bit more of a trigger in that the cell that's causing these showers will be a little bit closer to us. And so I look for the possibility of a few thunderstorms and a more general rain than what we saw today. But it's still not going to be an all-day kind of event. It'll be a more like heating of the day type activity. But right up until midnight, you can see we'll have a pretty good chance for some fairly moderate to heavy downpours out to our east. And then things go quiet overnight before repeating themselves during the afternoon and evening hours on Sunday without as much rain out east. It doesn't look like things will still be active over there. What will be happening is the bulk of the heavy weather associated with this cell will shift to the south so that there won't be any severe weather in our area, no, not even a marginal chance for it, which is good news. That doesn't mean we won't hear a clap or two of thunder, but those, shell, those storms should not be on the severe level. However, that possibility does exist for parts of the Carolinas, Georgia, and down into the Gulf Coast on Sunday, but that will be moving away from us over the next 48 hours. Forecast says 64 with spotty showers around tonight. Not very active tomorrow. Things will pick up a little bit as we get into the heating of the afternoon and we'll heat up into the low 80s right about where we belong. Average high is 83 showers and storms possible tomorrow and Sunday and then leftover showers early Monday before things clear out again and get gorgeous with highs in the low to mid 80s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday too. Susan?